G'day guys, Big Autumn here. Today I'm here to show you my very first game that I've developed using the uh, Unity game engine. I have made like heaps of other things in the Unity game engine before, but I've never actually spent the time and effort to completely polish it out and make it like an actual game. So this is my first one. This is Match Point. It's a, um, as you can see, it's a 2D kind of soccer game, like a little, something like, you know, like a flash game you'd see on the internet, you wouldn't play. Um, it was a part of a school assessment, part of my elective where we had to develop a game within seven weeks, which got extended to 11 weeks, thankfully, because we, we were running out of time. And I did not make this game alone. Uh, it was actually a team of three that made this game. But um, our third team member, they came, they joined in a bit later. So they, they took control of sprites or graphics, whatever you want to say, the music, and just the testing. Uh, our second team member has been here from the beginning. He, he did the sprites as well. He also did sound effects. And he helped me with the programming and testing as well. Everyone tested in this project. And then I, I was, I don't want to brag, but I was probably the project lead because I own the project and I, they even, my team members say I probably did the like, majority of the work. I, uh, I covered design. I covered programming. I covered SFX, sorry, sound effects. I covered the UI. I covered scene management and project management. So a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff for one assessment. That's not even a major work. It's just one school assessment, but I just wanted to get a good experience. So our vision from the beginning uh, was to create a 2D physics based soccer game, similar to soccer physics and head soccer. And we would need to have our own niche for it to stand out. So our niche, after some thought was this spinning leg mechanic that you can probably see in the video where the player can spin their leg like 360 degrees around their, their body. While this doesn't look realistic, it's okay, it's a game, right? But it lets them like, you know, pull off, you know, like try get their leg above their head so they can defend their goal or do it in some other way to go get a goal. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, once we were given the assessment, we started development, we wrote down ideas, we uh, did a little prototype for the leg spinning idea. Uh, we didn't have enough time to do a full prototype of the game, so we only had a prototype of the leg, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll probably put some photos up of like the different like drawings uh, we did like for ideas and different um, just concept art and whatnot that we made. But from the beginning, really, we were developing and just constantly polishing it because we like to see polished stuff, you know? <laughs> it's just good to see something that looks good rather than unfinished. So that's what we've been doing for the whole time. And that was just our kind of thing that went on for how many weeks? 11 weeks. So even in between other assessments and just general schoolwork. And... The video you're seeing is obviously the finished product. And I have to say, I am pretty happy with it. To be my first like proper game I've published, well, not published, but like completed fully and published for the school marker for the teacher, I'm pretty happy. Our teacher, in fact, thought that they liked that game so much. They thought it was like that good that they asked the, the head of senior school to put it up on like the TVs that are around senior school. And I was like blown away. Like that is just crazy. You know, that's insane for my first like thing for our first game. That was, mm -hmm. yeah, crazy. But we did have some things that we would have liked to add, but we had to remove them because we either didn't know how to put it in or we ran out of time. Most of the stuff is just because we ran out of time. First one, we wanted to animate the sprite. Just look, make it look a bit better, you know, rather than it just being a little static thing that moves across the screen. But obviously we got rid of it, didn't have enough time. And honestly, I don't know how to animate, <laughs> but we're learning it now. Um, player customization. There's always something about um, feeling attached. If you can like do stuff with your player, you feel attached to that character. You know, if you can customize it, you can make it how you want to make it. So then you feel attached to it. So we were like thinking, or something like that, but really simple. So you'd be able to like change the color of the uniform or add some kind of 
hat or whatever, you know, just something funny like that. But uh, that was just a combination of running out of time and not knowing how to do it. We also wanted to add in power-ups. So like uh, power-ups would randomly drop from the top of the screen and bounce down to the field. And if your player collided with them, it would randomly select a power-up. It would either be like, you know, make the make the player really big or make the ball really small or something, you know, just anything really. But um, just like player customization, we didn't add it for time and knowledge reasons. And the final one was mutator settings. So if you've played Rocket League before, if you haven't, why? It's a great game. <laughs> but um, we were thinking of having a second game mode alongside the general match and the tutorial where you could set up like, um, just like Rocket League, you set up a custom game, but you have all these different settings you can change. So, you know, you can change how bouncy the ball is, what kind of ball it is, what the gravity is like, stuff like that, just to make it, you know, fun and interesting. But obviously, just like with the other ones, ran out of time and didn't know how to do it. But that's okay. You know, I can still work on this. I still have the, the file. So I could, if I wanted to put more effort into this, I could um, try to finish it off and uh, put it up on the internet. If you would like, guys would like to see that, please let me know. And may as well, I had to write a whole portfolio as part of the assessment for the game. And it has like everything like from from idea to finished product and all the code and everything. So if you guys would like me to put that up as well, please let me know. But um, yeah, I'm, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got to say, really. Just tell me what you guys think. Leave any, you know, criticism or constructive criticism, I should say, suggestions, etc. And um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a good day.